Page 172. This is arpeggio power. All we're doing here is arpeggios, one octave arpeggios. We've had these before, and on 172 and 173 is sort of the same thing. It's just 172 is for the right hand, 173 is for the left hand, and just go over them. Just take the notes together, just figure them out. At the beginning, it's here, it's a C chord. You're in extended position, so it's here. And arpeggiate it means one note at a time from top to bottom, or bottom to top. Here they go up and down both. Then they do the D minor, it's here, and the E minor, they're just going up the keyboard. You could keep going up, do F, G, G, A, just stay on the white keys, B, that's fine, whatever. Left hand's the same thing, you they do it in F out. keyboard. Do both hands together. I'm using 5 chord here on each of these. And then because that's the fingering I was taught to use in college, that's what I do. I think that's the fingering they're showing here. It's fourth finger on each of these. That's really all it is. I'm six eight time with an eight note gets a count. Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Big deal. And that's really all this is, is. Now they're showing wrists doing their things. I don't really control my wrist. My wrist does whatever it wants to do. They're showing low wrist, high. It's a circle. But as I said, I don't control this. It just happens. It just happens by itself. It's a circle. That's all it is. The point is, don't play with a stiff wrist. Don't don't hold it still. No. Let the wrist relax, and it'll it'll happen. If it wants to go up or down, let it go up or down. That's all I would have to say on that. I would not force it one way or the other. But that gives you an idea that you're starting out lower, and you go up to high, and then you're coming back down. That makes it a circle.